This demo will show the functionality of the Medusa app. You need to place the finger to be scanned in front of the rear camera. The phone turns on both the light and the zoom automatically. The photo of your finger will appear on the left square of the screen. This is converted into the digital fingerprint. Then you will see the textures of your fingerprint. And then the fingerprint again, with all the menu TAE seen, as pink dots. These are the ridge endings and bifurcations of your fingerprint. Now the phone is ready for another acquisition. The app keeps analyzing the image all the time, and when it detects an image that could be a fingerprint, it starts a new acquisition automatically. You have to make sure that the image of your fingerprint fits well within the right square of the screen. It also needs to be placed with the surface of the finger parallel to the phone so that the finger is seen flat and there is no tilt between the phone and the finger surface. When you get a good acquisition of your fingerprint, you can press the template button. This will set this fingerprint as the reference to which new fingerprint acquisitions will have to match from now on. When we see the message saying that the template has been updated, we can start another acquisition. Now the process will be all the same. But at the end of the scan, the app will compare the acquired fingerprint with the stored reference template. Depending on whether there is a good match or not, it will say pass or fail. Access granted. Let's see what happens if we use another finger of the hand, or a finger from somebody else. Access denied. Let's try again with the finger we used to set the referenced template. Access granted. Pressing the Options button, we access the Options menu. In addition to some details, like enabling or disabling the sound and voice, we can activate the lock functionality of Medusa. Before activating the locker, please make sure that you are getting past with the scanner most of the times. Once the boot and or the screen locks are activated, you will need to go through a valid scan to unlock your phone. If you are getting fail often with the right finger, you will need to store a new template. Make sure again that you place the finger properly so that it is parallel to the phone and its image is well centered. When we select one lock functionality, screen, and or boot, we will get a warning to double check that this is really what we want to do. Due to security limitations of Android, we will need to set Medusa as the home app, as indicated on the screen. If we now lock the screen, when we try to unlock it, Medusa will automatically force you to go through a fingerprint scan, and it will not unlock the screen until a match is found. You will know that you are on the lock mode instead of scan mode, because the buttons will not be shown on the screen. Access granted, and the screen is unlocked. We can delete the stored reference template at any time through the options menu. This will revert Medusa to the basic scan functionality without fingerprint matching. We can also disable the locker functionality while keeping the reference template. At the end of each fingerprint scan, we can press the Save Image button. This will save the photo of the finger, the digital fingerprint, and the fingerprint with the menu TAE shown. These images will be saved on the Medusa folder in the Pictures directory.